Hello everyone, Dr. Jenkins here. This is your serving size lab. So welcome to the land of some real food, but also some fake food. Today, we're gonna to be looking at serving sizes for fruits. So I have here some grapes, vegetables. I have here some carrots grains and carbohydrates. So I have some noodles to represent that. For the protein, I have some homemade Play-Doh. Check it out, it's really fun to make and much cheaper than this real, real thing. This homemade Play-Doh, I'm gonna be forming patties that are gonna represent like a meat patty. So a hamburger or some sort of protein. And then of course we have our good old, good friend, the fats and oils. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera and take you over to the next table. You won't see me, but you're gonna see the serving sizes. What's gonna happen is we're gonna take one at a time. So the first thing over there are the vegetables. So when I take you over there, you're going to see three options. Sometimes it'll be one plate split into three. Sometimes it'll be three plates with one portion each just because they wouldn't fit. But for each food, for example, vegetables, you're gonna see three options, option A, B, and C. Your job is to create a hypothesis for which you believe is the correct amount for one serving size. So as we go through, grab a sheet of paper, and you're going to hypothesize of A, B, and C, which do you think is the correct serving size for each. All right? At the end, I will give you the answers. But first, uh, hypothesize, okay? So I'm gonna grab the camera, stay with me. I'm not the most tech savvy person, as you can see, I just put my finger over it. But let's go over to the table of fun. All right, so we're gonna look at veggies. So here is your first option. This is what you'll select if you believe A. See on the left there it says A. If you believe that is one serving size, you'll write A. Let's compare it to B. Or maybe you think C is the correct one. I'll show you those again. Maybe you think A is what one serving size of veggies would look like on a plate. Maybe you think it's B, one serving size on a plate. Or maybe you think it's C. I'm a vegetarian, so I would definitely choose C for what I would want. But is that one serving size? We're gonna find out. So write down your guess. A, B, or C. Let's have a look over at fruit. These all fit onto one plate, plus I use different colors. These are fake, of course. In the upper left, that would be your selection if you think A is what one serving size of fruit looks like. Upper left is A. Upper right there to the right is B. Or maybe you think C. What could it be? All right, let's head over to our peanut M&Ms. Some of them have meandered. Let me fix that. There we go. So, which do you think represents one serving size? Now, of course, we would all like serving size C to be the one, but is that really one serving size? Maybe it is. Maybe you think A is what one serving size looks like, or B, or C. Let's head over to the grains. Now, these I couldn't fit on one. So there's B and C. Let's first, Look at A. I apologize for the shakiness of my camera work. So, grains and carbs. We have our noodles. 
you would select A if you think A is one serving size. That's A. Then we can go back here. Maybe you think B is one serving size. Maybe you think C is one serving size. What could it be? Let's face it, we all probably want it to be A. Is it? It might be. So you're gonna select A, B, or C. Is that one serving size? Or is B or C one serving size? Lastly, let's go on over to the protein. Here I have made three patties out of that homemade Play-Doh. One of them is the correct one serving size. Is it the A patty, the B patty, or the C patty? It's a little bit harder to see through, I'm using my iPad here. B is a little bit smaller than A, if that helps you. Looks pretty small, doesn't it? I don't know. So those are your options, folks. I will reveal the correct answers in a moment. So after you have made your hypotheses for what you believe one serving size of the veggies, fruits, fats and oils, grains and protein, let's go over to the second part of today's lab. So what I'm asking you to do here is I'm asking you to raid your refrigerator and or cabinet. You don't necessarily need to go to the store. It can be uncooked things. You don't have to actually cook. But I would like you to take a plate and look on the left there. You're gonna select one correct serving size because you're gonna know these, it's in the PowerPoint. Yes, it is, folks. One serving size of a fruit, a vegetable, a grain, you could use rice, you could use oatmeal, you could use pasta, protein, and fats and oils. You could even put some uh, olive oil into a little container, a little glass or something. So you're gonna make one plate that is one correct serving size of all five of those. And then you're gonna make a second plate. Maybe you use the same plate, you just wipe it clean of what you normally eat. And now listen, folks, there's no judgment here. Really no judgment at all. This is simply a learning exercise. Please don't stress about having to go to the store. You don't have to cook anything. Just see what you got. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, folks, good luck.